uh, welcome to our webinar let's wait for a couple of more minutes so we can start the webinar with uh, more attendees who are supposed to join so based on that we can start the webinar in a few minutes okay so thank you for uh, joining the webinar so before start uh, let me start with the okay let me start with the introduction of uh, what we have uh, with the whatsapp so one sorry one second okay so what we have with the whatsapp so for whatsapp we have three things one is uh, web dot whatsapp just a second let me know Okay, so for WhatsApp, we have three things. WhatsApp web integration. Uh, second one is the WhatsApp business. And third one is WhatsApp Chrome. So, so for WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp web, this is something where, you know, you can uh, use your own mobile uh, to be scanned. So it means like, uh, if there is a WhatsApp installed in your mobile, you just uh, scan the QR code of WhatsApp. So WhatsApp, instead of WhatsApp Wave, it will have your WhatsApp interface inside the VTiger system. So you can send, receive message and everything. So there is no restriction from the WhatsApp because this is one uh, implementation we did to uh, pass the WhatsApp Wave. So there is no restriction from the WhatsApp. You can send any message to one number or anything. Also, the only disadvantage of this is like your number might be blocked if you are sending uh, uh, mass messages or anything to the WhatsApp. Okay. Uh, apart from that, what we have is another one is WhatsApp business. Now, you have a restriction from the Facebook that you can't send any types of message to any number or any unknown number until that number uh, allow you to send a message. It means like if and until you establish the conversation with the number, then only you can send message to that number. So that is one of the uh, requirement for the WhatsApp business. Uh, also like uh, what's Facebook is charged to send the messages to the WhatsApp. It means like uh, it means like uh, if you send more than a couple of uh, thousands messages in a month, then Facebook will uh, charge you for that. So uh, the, here is the let me share link. So here is the link for the uh, let me see let, let me see that's the link for the whatsapp I okay. one second okay so here is the <coughs> The price which you have to pay to the Facebook to sending a message to the customer, right? So they they have a CSV file, and and that CSV file it's a rate how many messages you send per month, and about those uh, yeah about those number of messages, uh, about those cap it, they will charge to sending a message in a WhatsApp business. So basically this is for the WhatsApp business where you can charge the messages for the WhatsApp business. Now let me go to the, okay, let me go to go back to the help menu. So in a help menu, uh, we have like, uh, this is the, our help for the WhatsApp business. It means like it has the facility where you can learn how to install the VTiger extension for WhatsApp Business API. 
how to set up whatsapp business account on facebook business matter right because this is important step to create the api key for the whatsapp so from here like uh, from here you can create a what's developer accounts for the facebook from there where uh, you you can create apps on a meta and based on that apps which you create it's return kind of api key so we will help you to set up what's a business account inside the facebook because there is uh, some steps which we have to follow where you have to submit your company documents and everything where which facebook will authorize you that okay you are the legitimate company to use the whatsapp business api once you got those those information from the whatsapp you basically have to install our apps so once you install the extension the first step for this extension is to you know yeah first step for this extension is to add a business account so when you add a business account you have to enter all this information once you add all the information and once you validate uh the account right then only uh, you will allow to send and receive whatsapp messages like this right so i enter the app id whatsapp business account id user token and all those those information you will get from facebook right so uh, this is our facebook uh, uh, this is our account for the whatsapp business for facebook so you will get all those information like token then uh, no yeah api key and other things right like the whatsapp business account id right phone number id and all those things. so this information you will get from the facebook so once you set up those information then you are ready to go ready to use the send receive message from what's up inside the vitaiga system so this is one of the number which connected the number is like double four that's a uk number and its number is 7404743931 that is the number which we set up in the whatsapp business so based on that number you will send and receive a message against the whatsapp business so now let me go to the whatsapp business here so so from here i can it's a regular interface of what we have for the whatsapp web only difference is like this is whatsapp business all underlying infrastructure on underlying send receive message mechanism and everything is same for the whatsapp business okay now let me see uh, let me show you something else like um, the important things what's the key difference between the whatsapp business and whatsapp base so let me so here the whatsapp whatsapp template so here you will see like uh, all the whatsapp template those are approved or not approved now you can't send a message to the unknown number until the template which you created has been approved from the whatsapp so you will see all your template let me see one second so you will see all your templates here so whenever you create a template inside the vtiger it will going to yeah it will going to send to the whatsapp for the approval and whatsapp took around uh, 2 to 24 hours to approve your template to verify whether the template is not uh, template is not anti social uh there is no any uh, conflict text or a content inside the template and all those things so they have automated bot which verified the template and once your template has been approved it will display here now only those template you can send to the unknown number okay so this is the the template things right now here when you create a template we are providing a two things here one is uh, one is the whatsapp template approved by facebook and second one is regular whatsapp template now regular whatsapp template can be used to send a template to existing number to with whom you already connected right it means like you already send a receive a message to existing number means that customer is already authorized you to send a whatsapp message 
in this case whatsapp template approved by facebook right here you have to create a template right like uh, what will be the name of the template and everything right once you create a template here it will send a template to facebook for the approval first so once you submit a tem- this template it will display here right in the inside the facebook and you regularly check whether your template has been approved or not once the template has been approved it will display template here as an approved if it's not approved like for example let me see yeah so like you will see a rejected so you can't use rejected template from facebook okay so before before send any message to any customer for example let me send template let me send a message to unknown number okay so let me Okay, I select this number. Then nine 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 two four four six nine zero five. This is one of my number. I attaching one of the template called marketing test. Okay, so I send this message to customer. Okay, now if you look at this, the message has been sent to me. Right. Now let me go to the. Let me close this. Go to the. see all notifications inside the template now you can see like okay till i can't send this this number a direct message until this number has been replied to me so i'm just this is my another number so i'm replying yes i am here okay so once i reply here right so i will i will get the message i i am here once i reply then it's open a conversation other than that it will not open a conversation so there is a rules and restriction which has been applied by the facebook to do a conversation in the whatsapp business so this is a big difference between the regular web dot whatsapp integration compared to the whatsapp business apart from that everything would be the same chatbot everything would be the same in a chatbot we have similar implementation of what we have in the whatsapp business sorry what's up there the only difference is like you know uh only difference is like you know they have the facility to just a second let me show you something yeah apart from so they have a facility to okay yeah they have a facility to have a button like what's up business button message button so you know it's button like this let me share my screen yeah so you will see the button like this okay so these types of button it will display when you do the conversation for the chatbot okay uh apart from this everything is okay for the whatsapp business now let me give you uh, about the pricing and all those things idea of the pricing and all those things for whatsapp business so we have two prices so it will be easy for you to understand one is yeah one is like uh, monthly that is 49 per month that is for the use the whatsapp business extension from crm tiger and 250 is the fixed price to set up whatsapp number from facebook so we are providing this support if you want if you are new you don't know how to set up the whatsapp business number for facebook we are providing that support to you, support to you. Okay, so this is the two pricing what we have for the WhatsApp business compared to WhatsApp Web, which we charge like eighty nine dollar a month, and WhatsApp business, this is forty nine. So it is almost like fifty percent because in a WhatsApp Web we have our own API server and we have to provide the charge to the hosting provider to maintain those servers and all. For WhatsApp business we don't have any server for the API. We are using the Facebook API to send message, receive and send and receive message. So this is what we have for the WhatsApp business. You can review our uh, website for that. You have all the knowledge base information about this, right? So 
you can see all the kb.crmtiger.com inside that you will see the section for the what's a business integration for wing tiger and over here we have all the information right the video and everything about like how this what's a business works and all things so hope you like this webinar if you have any question feel free to ask i i'm here to answer all your questions so let me know if you have any question also like uh, uh, we will going to reorganize this webinar with the real use case of booking and everything on uh, 20 20 22nd of november we will planning to have another webinar for that so let us know if you have any question or concern we are happy to help you for this webinar i am waiting for your question okay everyone thank you for your time uh, have a nice day bye bye